BEC3G. It's another protein. It's a fun protein. What it does is it causes hypermutation in the DNA and RNA. Many times the AIDS virus, DNA and RNA is hypermutated by ApoBEC3G. And they have found out, so of course HIV virus has its own protection against this, but they have found out that many people who actually have this enzyme in them or this protein in them which causes hypermutation in HIV virus, they are non-progressors. That is, they do not actually become ill, they just have the virus and they do not progress further in their disease because of this thing. Then we have uh, lactoferrins and ferritins, very, very important things. What they do is this, remember for bacteria to grow, bacteria love iron, they want to eat iron, they, are, they use iron. So what happens is, these two guys, lactoferrins and ferritins, they chelate or chelate the iron, they, they eat up the iron, they grab the iron. So when the bacteria does not get the iron, bacteria cannot replicate and, and grow. So that is how they help, these are proteins. Then there is this menon binding lectin or there is a thing called mannose which is a sugar which is only found in the pathogens, bacteria, and this MBL can attach to the sugar. So what is this? This is a, also a flag. The criminal came in and the flag got, so here came C3B, here came MBL, this was an antibody. All those things are markers, they are flags. These flags make the bacteria stand out and he knows he's going to be eaten up soon. So the macrophage is going to come or the neutrophil is going to come or the dendritic cell is going to come and it's going to say, wow, I love these things. This is this is sugar coated bacteria is going to go and eat them. So some proteins here, very, very important proteins. So this is the innate system. Now let us see one more thing, very, very important thing. The bone marrow house makes another set of cells. These cells are specialized. Why are they specialized? Why are they different from these cells, the, the cells which are present here? The cells which the next set of cells we are talking about. These cells are called specialized cells or specific cells or acquired immune system, part of acquired immune system. What they do is when they come out of the bone marrow or when they are formed in the bone marrow, they go, to, they go through the trainings. So the John whale or Jane whale has its own training centers just like any other city would have. So this is a co-op training center or military training center or, or or a lab system where doctors are trained and the nurses are trained. So just like that, in our body, bone marrow has a training system inside it where B cells are trained. They are actually trained. So we will talk about it. It is funny. So the B cells are formed and then they are trained. Similarly, there is thymus here. In the children, that is a viable tissue, functional tissue. As we grow older, it keeps becoming more lipids and less functional. But anyways, the thymus is also a factory. It's also a training unit. So here in the Janeville, there is another training unit, another training academy. So some cells go into the thymus. They come out of the bone marrow. So let's say they came out from the upper part of the femur or somewhere in the ileum. They came out, they traveled all the way to go into the thymus. Where are they going? They're going to a training academy. So they get trained over there to recognize various types of antigens and not to recognize the body. So we'll talk about it, that what the training, how that training occurs. But there is going to be training in here. And these guys are made sure, the T cells which come in here, body makes sure that they do not attack us and it makes sure that they can attack the antigens. So they're trained, they're given tests, they're shown the body parts and said body antigens, body's proteins and said, what do you think about this? And if he attacks it, then that T cell is going to be killed. If he says, well, I don't think much about this, then the body says, yeah, yeah, you're good. Now, how about this bacterial antigen? And he says, yeah, I'm going to be really bad with that one. And body says, hey, you are a good cell. Come on and have, live with us and serve the, the, the city. So the thymus is a training ground, just like B cell or the bone marrow. Now, once the cells have become trained, these cells move into their residential places, into their quarters. So there are two types of, there are multiple types of residential places. 
remember tonsils, we have spleen, we have lymph nodes. So, in our example here, I am just saying lymph node and spleen, but there are other lymphatic tissues as well which are present. For example, in the GIT, we have pious patches and we have tonsils and so on. So, if you see here, it is a fun situation. <coughs> Over here, there are some types of cells. Basically, there are two, three type of cells, I would say. There are helper cells or CD4 cells. Why are they CD4? CD stands for the word cluster of differentiation or cluster of designation, whichever, both are used. So, CD is actually just proteins. So, if you see a, a surface of ocean and inside that surface, if you see a cluster of boats together, you can call that these are multiple proteins which are sitting together, you can call that as a cluster of differentiation. So, CD4 are just a cluster of differentiation for helper cells. Normally, if you see here this naive guy, so normally they are naive. They have a fawn, they do not know who to call. They have no idea what their business is in the world. So, they are sitting there, they think, hmm, I do not know what to do. My, my fawn does not work, it does not have a speed dial on it. So, they, these are naive CD4 cells, we call them naive helper cells. This macrophage guy, this macrophage guy is really important. This guy activates the CD4 helper cell. I talked about that in my previous lectures. This is just the bigger defense mechanism of the city. So, CD4 cell can be converted into CD4 0 cell, can be converted into CD4 1 or CD4 2 cell, depending upon if the message is coming, the speed dial is coming from a macrophage or did I show you this? So, this guy over here, he is an unknown cell. He does have a fawn which dials interleukin 4. So, that interleukin 4 when acts on the CD4 cell naive cell, it becomes the helper T2 cell. Anyways, we have T0 helper, T1 helper and T2 helper. T0 converts into 1 and 2 depending upon a message from macrophage or a message from this unknown cell. Correct? These are helper cells. So, what, do, what does that mean? These cells help B cell, remember B cell were the cells which were trained here. These help the B cells to become active and make the weapons, immunoglobulins weapons. So, these weapons are actually little uh, missiles. These are just funny missiles that instead of having a tip, they have a Y shaped structure and the front of the Y is what goes and attack. It is a double pronged attack. So, uh, the B cells, they make the immunoglobulins and they are activated by the helper cells. Similarly, T cell, if you see here, so see this was the lineup of helper T cell. See this soldier dude over here, this is a cytotoxic T cell, CD8 cell. So, this guy, just like the natural killer cell over here, this guy can actually kill the cells. What are the cells it can kill? Virus infected cells. It has its own little weapons over here. If you see, it has perforins, granzymes, and defensines. We will talk about those in detail, but it, it is carrying weapons. So, as soon as he is activated, he is going to pull out his weapons, find six cells, and kill them. So, so, that is a cytotoxic T cell. So, can I say this is an effector cell? Why it is an effector? It affects the pathogenic cell a cell which has gotten a pathogen in it, it is going to affect it, it is going to kill it. Will these guys do it? These dudes do it? No. They are helpers, they sit down there and they help the cytotoxic T cell or they help the B cell or they help the innate system to become more active. That is why they are called helpers. So, this is a helper lineup. They are not direct effectors, they do not do that, they just help. So, they cry out, they send messages, they call, they pick up the phones and say, Mr. President, we have a problem. Mr. Governor, we have a problem and so on. So, they are helpers. They call into the, to the army units and say, hey, we have gotten a problem, activate the army. They call into this uh, B cell arsenal factory and say, hey, we need to make more weapon against this particular type of pathogen. So, that is what the lineup is here. Helper cells, cytotoxic T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. T, all of them, helper T and cytotoxic were trained in the training academy for thymus, 
thymus training academy and the B 